Hi everybody, it's Friday and I'm going to show you a small uh, haul. So this would be a haul for y'all. Um, first, before that, I'm actually going to make the announcement that I have been saying um, and kind of teasing you with uh, the past week or yeah, probably a week and a half almost. Um, most of you have already probably figured it out, but uh, on the 15th of January of this year, 2013, which is my birthday, um, I actually got laid off from my job. And on the, oh my gosh, I think it was the, the week after, the week of the 21st, um, actually the Friday, so like the 17th, I started getting calls to come, to come for interviews started interviewing the week of the 21st of January and started a new job on the 28th of January. So um, I've got three months of probation with this job. I'm not going to go into too much detail about it. It's very challenging. It's something that could potentially be a huge opportunity for me. Um, and although it is at times overwhelming, I'm looking at that as kind of a positive because I feel like getting laid off um, was, was a message. Um, you know, I didn't leave necessarily on bad terms. I got a great severance and um, I could have taken some time off, but I'm always the type that likes to stay current. So I just jumped back in um, to job hunting with both feet and here I am. So like I said, this new position is something that's very challenging, but could be a huge opportunity for me, um, especially in the area of, of growth um, in my job uh, skill set. So I'm really looking forward to it and I'm hoping that I can meet my new employer's expectations um, because I really do want to stay there and I feel like this company really sees the potential in me and that's huge. Um, and there's all sorts of possibilities and room for growth and you know, you could move up, you could move lateral. I mean, there's just so many ways to go and I'm just so excited. So I want to say thank you to all of you for you know, taking the time to send me a message and say, hey, what's up? You know, are you okay? And and offer support and kind words because that really does mean a whole lot to me and I really do appreciate it. Now, there will be a blog post on this, um, but I'm just waiting until I get the final details and um, I am on probation, so I'm going to be extremely limited with the information I divulge about my new position. Just know that it's incredibly challenging, something completely different that than I've done before, and that I'm just thrilled with the idea that uh, an employer can see potential in employees. It's just it it's so refreshing, and it it just feels really good. So. Moving on, um, this is a Dior haul. This is from the Cherie uh, Bow collection, which is the spring collection, um, which I have most of, by the way, and I really do want to do a giveaway, um, and the giveaway will most likely be entirely Dior because Dior is my brand. That's my brand. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the Dior Blush 729 Cherie Bow Edition. You have to forgive me. I'm really congested, too. The weather's been really up and down here. One day it was... I want to say it was almost like 40, almost 50 degrees. Um, that's in Fahrenheit for you American people. Cause, and I can't do Celsius yet. I'm really trying. And then it's dropped down to, you know, below freezing, you know, one day after another. One day really mild and the next day incredibly freezing. So that wreaks havoc on my sinuses and I'm congested. Surprise! So here we are. Sherry Bow 729. This is beautiful. I love Dior blushes. Um... And I'm sure this one will not disappoint. It's going to be hard to see the color difference here, I think. Yeah. It's very slight. So there it is. We've got a light pink and then a, a little bit of a darker pink. I think this is going to be great. I may even wear this next week. However, I'm enjoying my sleek products from uh, Deanna's Makeup World so much. And she sent me a blush palette. That's incredible. So I may not be able to hold off on that for too much longer. So the next product I got is a five color Cherie Bow Edition 724. Now, if you have watched my videos, uh, my past, this is still recent. I got the brighter version of this. So this is the more subtle, I'll call it subtle version of uh, the five color. And I think this is something that I would actually wear um, to work because it is quite beautiful. 
So it's pinks, it's gray, there's a, a kind of a champagne color, and then the white um, pearl with the shimmer in the middle. Very hard to see, I apologize, um, but it is quite beautiful. If you do have a Dior counter near you, you should swatch it and check it out. It's completely worth it. I'm a big fan of the Dior five color I, uh, eyeshadow palettes. They're amazing. They're just amazing. And finally, a Dior Attic Lipstick, 687. You know, I can't say this word, so here it is. Let's see if we can get it to... Yeah, I can't. I'll spell it for you. E-S-P-I-E-G-L-E. -E. I like the Attic Lipsticks. I also like the Dior Rouge. Um, these are nice, the Attics, because they're a little bit lighter, more moisturizing. This is just a beautiful pink. This will be awesome in spring, but uh, knowing me, I'll wear it next week. So pretty. Yeah, so that's it. I made it through week one uh, at my new job, so I'm celebrating with a little vino. Don't worry, I'm not too far in, and I don't plan on getting any, any further than what's in that glass. But I had a really great week. Um, really, really looking forward to the opportunities that lay ahead for me. So I'd love to hear what you're doing. Um, I'd love to hear if you've tried any of these Dior products. And um, I don't know, how you are in general. That'd be cool too. So like, comment, subscribe. I'll do the same. Thanks for watching. Bye.